Millville foodies and if you are not a part of this community I need you to stop what you're doing go ahead and hit that red subscribe button because I promise you you do not want to miss what's coming out of Millville so I decided to prepare a Sunday dinner um, and I at the last minute I said wait I said why don't I put my pinto beans and ham hock on the channel so that's why my beans are already in a bowl because I had already picked them Anytime you um, get any bag beans, whether it's pinto, northern, um, navy beans, you always want to pick them to make sure there's no rocks in them or any type of foreign object. So I've already did that. So that's why they're in a bowl. So just told you our video is going to be um, crock pot pinto beans with ham hock. And we have simple ingredients because I've seen a lot of people do pinto beans oh and i have mixed beans that was a two pound bag of mixed beans so that has pinto beans northern beans and i think also navy beans in that bag so yeah i decided to do a variety and they do come uh, in a mixed bag you don't have to do it yourself um but what i was saying I've, I've noticed a lot of people when they do their pinto beans or any any type of beans they put a whole lot of different ingredients like curry. Um, I've seen people put chili powder. I don't know, honey, are you cooking chili or are you doing just some regular beans with some meat in them? So I'm just going to show you uh, my simple bean recipe for the crock pot. Um, very simple and easy. Some of these ingredients, if you don't want to, honey, you don't even have to have all of this. All you need is your ham hock, salt and pepper and you can keep it moving okay however i do have other ingredients to kind of kick it up a notch so but they're not um i guess you would say just crazy ingredients that i've seen people do with pencil beans but i mean it's their kitchen so they do what they want like i tell you guys it's your kitchen baby do what you want so however for in my kitchen we have our two pound bag of mixed beans we have our ham hock we have onion garlic um, our salt and pepper, we have our bay leaves, and we have our chicken bouillon. We also have liquid smoke because I want to kind of kick that um, smoke ham hock up, a, uh, just, just kick it up a notch um, because we really want to cook that first for about two hours before we add our beans in the crock pot because ham hock is really tough, but we'll talk about that later on in the video. So, just stay tuned. If a commercial come on, honey, you better wait that five seconds and press skip, okay? Because you do not want to miss this bean recipe. All right, guys. So we are back. And as you see, we have our three ham hocks in our um, slow cooker. We did wash these off. We also went ahead and cut up our onion. We're going to throw these onions in there. And the thing about these onions, it doesn't matter how big or how small you cut them. By the time it gets through cooking, the onion's going to totally disappear. Um, we want to add a tablespoon of garlic. We want about um, three tablespoons of our chicken bouillon. gonna do about a half a teaspoon of liquid smoke because remember with liquid smoke a little goes a long way so we're also going to throw in about three bay leaves and we're going to add salt and pepper. And now we want to go ahead and add, I'm going to add about um, seven cups of water. I'm going to go ahead and add the water that I'm going to be using for the beans. We're going to go ahead, add the water, and we're going to let this go ahead and cook for about two hours on its own to help break up that ham hock. After two hours, um, we'll add our beans. All 
All right, you guys, so we added our seven cups of water, which pretty much covered our meat. That's what you want. We're gonna go ahead, like I said, put this on for two hours, let it cook, then we'll come back and throw in our beans. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so we are back. And as you see, our ham hocks have been cooking now for about two hours. And what we wanna do at this point is go ahead and add our beans and let it continue to cook. We're gonna let this cook on um, high for four to five hours. And you can do slow for eight hours. It's just depending on your timing and what you have to do. Um, this is going to be cooking while we are at church. So we got all our beans in. And now we're going to let this continue to cook and periodically um, if we're back before church is out, I'll show you um, what it looks like um, midway, halfway, if not, <laughs> and probably not if you ever been on Facebook and seen any of the services that we posted, honey, we'd be having church. So um, if we don't get back, honey, to mix it or show you what it looks like, it's fine. It's in a crock pot. It's slow cooking. It's not going to burn. So just... Sit back, chill for the next four to five hours. We'll be back when it's done. One more thing I wanted to say about the beans that I should have said. I did not soak my beans. I did rinse them. I let them soak in the rinse for about an hour. But you can soak your beans actually overnight. Um, and then, you know, cook them in the morning. But being that I'm doing it in a crock pot, I ain't got to do all that. The crock pot going to do the work for us. So we did not soak our beans, but you can soak your beans. Just wanted to reiterate that. All right, you guys. So we are back. We just got back from church. I want to uh, take this top off. And we've been in church for, I think about, let's see. So five hours. Our beans have been cooking. Um, I just want to mix them. As you see, the meat is literally, guys, falling off the bone, the ham hock. And that's what you want. There's a good gravy consistency where it wasn't too much water. Just remove the bay leaves. Removing those. And guys, this is it. This is... See that ham hock being broken up? Got another bay leaf right there. This is our mixed pinto beans with navy beans and got that ham hock in there. You don't see that real good? Oh, honey, and it's tender. So, hope y'all enjoyed this video. This was a quick video. I love when I have when I do crock pot meals because they're so quick. You just throw everything in and come back and it's done. Uh, so we're gonna get this in a bowl and plate it up. I'm gonna make some hot water cornbread. We'll show you pictures at the end. Um, thank you all for tuning in once again. Keep uh, sharing my videos. Keep telling your friends and family to subscribe. Um, we are so gracious to have you as part of Mealville. Um, it is Sunday. I hope you went to church today and got some word. If not, remember that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. You all be blessed. Our business is done, honey, and we are about to eat.